Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed. And I'm going to take a look in on my 55 gallon bin, affectionately known as Blue. I'm going to take off the bubble wrap here and see what we've got. Looks like I've got quite a few pill bugs for one thing. Look at all these little guys. They are all over. That's okay. They're helpers. Okay. So it's been a little while since I've been in here. And it looks like I got springtails. That's weird. I don't normally get springtails in the big bin here. But uh, all bets are off, considering all the different things that have been in the big boy here. Looks like it might have been a tie wrap or something at one time. Maybe on some vegetables. Everything looks nice. Looks a little dry, but feeling wise, I think that the worms are probably still very happy in here. Gonna turn some things up here and see what we've got. Looks like I might need to, to do a good fluffing here because I'm seeing some whole leaves and clumps of paper. So this might be the right time to completely flip over the big boy here and see what we've got. I think after a couple of weeks, I'm not sure if I'm going to see any food or if we'll see any worm balls. Um, but we might. You never know. I should have looked to see where I fed last. Hmm. Not seeing any at this end. Feeding, that is. Okay. Well, let's look a little bit this way and see if there's any action down at this far end. At least for the worms, anyway. Pill bugs are definitely having a ball in here. knock everything down here. Give me some room to explore in the other direction. The bottom is pretty moist. All right, let me turn you a little bit this way. And we'll start moving things down. It's probably been a month or so since I've done a good fluff on the bin here, so it's, it's probably about time. Even with this much surface area, I find that the deeper portions still get kind of wet. Oop, okay, I think I've got, I don't know, an apple? So it looks like I must be getting to the, oh no, lime, lime, there we go. We must be getting, now I smell it, must be getting to the feeding here. All right, kind of stick that off to the edge and then maybe go a little bit slower, see if I can find a worm ball. There are a lot of worms in this bin. Some people have asked me to kind of theorize, and I know with all of the loading from other bins that I harvested, there's at least 10 pounds in here that I started with. I don't know. That's been a couple months ago, so knowing their reproduction rate, there might be another pound in here. But the worms stay pretty small. 
I don't usually see a lot of big ones. We'll see now that I'm running the whole bin side to side. We'll see if I get uh, any bigger worms running the system all at the same time now. Yeah, it might have just been too long for me to see any kind of worm ball. Potato peel? Nope, cardboard. Well, they are definitely going to get some food today. So even if they were made to eat all of their leaves and paper, they're definitely going to get a good feeding today. Yep. Might as well just keep going, fluffing. Seeing what I can see. Yeah, a little time to do some complete fluffing. Get those leaves and everything completely mixed up now. Those limes must have been the last of the food, because that's really all I'm seeing here. All right, well, put them in, then I will go get the new food, and we will feed them up. Okay, dig them a bit of a pit here. So they're going to get some bananas and tea bags and cover that up and kind of keep going. Mango, maybe, hard to tell. It's been uh, waiting for quite some time. Okay, so this is only, you know, a couple days old. So they're going to get a huge, huge feeding. So when we come in to see them next week, then there is definitely going to be a worm ball with all those bananas and all those mangoes. We're definitely going to have a show next week. But I think it's, it's valuable to make sure that they all get fluffed up, get the air, in there, make sure all the leaves and the larger pieces of paper make sure that they get fluffed up so the worms can get at them. All right, guys, well, that was just a quick one for the big boy. Uh, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.